This is an LMMS tutorial or Linux Multimedia Studio tutorial on compression. And the compressor that I'm going to be using today is going to be the CAF compressor. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And the first thing I'll do is explain to you what each thing on here does. Um, well, the bypass, if you turn the bypass on and you have an instrument going through this channel with the compressor on it, if you click bypass, all that's going to do is make it so the compressor doesn't affect the sound at all. And the input, this allows you to boost or lower the volume of the instrument or sound you're putting through the compressor before it's processed with the compression. The threshold, you can set the threshold and everything that is above the threshold gets affected by the compressor. So, um, if you have your threshold on about like negative five decibels and something goes over it, negative five decibels, that's when it's affected. The ratio allows you to set how much the sound that goes over the threshold is affected. If you have a, like a two to one ratio, then it is affected by um, every two decibels over, you get one decibel of sound. So if you have like four decibels, you get two decibels of sound. And if you have like a six to one, for every six decibels, you would get like one decibel of sound. The attack, this allows you to set how the c compressor um, comes on to the sound. It can let you um, put it so it like comes in slowly and before it like hits the sound full on. And it, if you have it off, it just hits the sound right away as soon as it goes over the threshold. But if you have it up a little, it will like ease into it. The release allows you to set how long the compressor will stay on after it's hit the sound that went over the threshold. The makeup gain. Makeup gain is so if you lose any volume from compression, which you usually do, um, y you set the makeup gain to make up for the volume that you've lost. Knee. Um, the knee can help with smoothing in, like going smoothly into compression. If you have a softer knee, it comes in more smoothly. A harder knee, it will hit it um, faster. Detection, this is the first compressor I've seen that on, but it seems as though when you have it on, it um, is more sensitive. Stereo link, stereo link, if you have this on, it will, if it like the left side goes over, it will compress the left side and it'll it'll bring down the volume of the left side just as much as it does the right side even if the right side doesn't have anything going over the threshold all right let's get to compressing all right so what i'm going to do today is uh i'm going to be compressing just the normal kick on lmms and so the kick uh, i'm going to make it kind of more jumpy with the compressor so I'm going to have a short attack and a quick release. And I'll, there's something I forgot to mention. For this compressor, I don't know why, but it doesn't have the threshold in decibels. It just has like a, des the, the, uh, de it just has like a percentage. So you kind of have to guess with the threshold and just see and just try and find where it sounds good. But... Um, anyway, I'm going to start compressing the kick. So what I'm going to want to do to get the jumpy sound that I'm going for is first got to find where I want the threshold. So I'm going to make a pattern. And then once I have that pattern, I can play it. And I'm going to turn the threshold pretty far down just to start see where I want it. I'm going to go to like a 3 to 1 ratio, so put this at 3. Slow attack. Quick release. Um, now that I have my settings, it has a little more energetic sound, and I'll show you that. Uh, Here's it without the compressor. All right, and um, I like where my where my sounds at right now. But like, if 
it did lower the volume as you can see I'll turn the bypass off turn it on and see when it's on when, when it's go not going through the compressor it's louder and when it is going through the compressor it's softer and quieter so uh, so what you're gonna want to do is bring up a meter that'll let you see kind of the decibel that you were at and so something like spectrum analyzer in LMMS and bring it up and just look at it and play it without the compressor and see if mine's going up higher and then you can look at the left side and see how, how loud it is and then play it with the compressor and see the decibels that you lost and then just go ahead and go back into the calf compressor and on the makeup gain add however many decibels you lost Thank you for watching my LMMS tutorial on compressing in Linux Multimedia Studio or LMMS. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time.